Hello, Year 5. We're continuing with our poetry today, and today we're going to be looking at haiku poetry. And our learning intention is to recognise the features of haiku poems. So by the end of today, I would like you to be able to know that a haiku contains only three lines, to count the syllables in each line, to check the pattern matches the format, five, seven, five, and to understand that haiku poems are often about nature or the seasons and how we feel about them. So what is a haiku? Haiku poems are a traditional Japanese art form. Here's one for you. My two plum trees are so gracious. See, they flower, one now, one later. And here's another one. Winter is coming. Snow will be arriving soon. We should rake the leaves. So what did you notice about those two poems? Think about the poem's theme, how many lines are in each poem and how many syllables in each line. So did you spot that there's only three lines in each poem? And in the first line of each poem, there are only five syllables. In the second line, there are seven syllables. And in the final third line, there are five syllables again. Both poems have a natural theme. And the final line is a comment or observation on the theme. So let's have a go. So how we can write a haiku. First, we need to choose a theme. It doesn't have to be about seasons or nature, but that will keep it traditional. So let's pick summer. First of all, I am going to write down as many words that I can associate with summer that I can think about. Hot, sunshine, flowers, holiday, beach, ice cream, games, sea, swimming, fun, warm, sand. Now I'm gonna take three of those that fit together, three of those ideas that fit together. So I'm gonna take hot, beach and sea. Now we have our ideas, we need to try and fit them into the 575 syllable format. You might have to alter words or phrases as you go to slightly fit the pattern. So here's what I've written at the moment. Holidays are coming. We can go to the beach. Hot sand is next to the cool sea. Works, but it doesn't fit the 575 syllable format. Holidays are coming. That's six syllables. So we need to cross out coming and put a word that's only one syllable. So we put here. Holidays are here. That works, that's five syllables. We can go to the beach. That's only six syllables, so we need an extra syllable. So I'll cross out beach and change beach to seaside. We can go to the seaside. Excellent, seven syllables. Hot sand is next to the cool sea. Now that's eight syllables, and we need to get it down to five syllables. So we'll cross off is next to, and replace that with a comma. Hot sand, the cool sea. Brilliant. Five syllables. Holidays are here. We can go to the seaside. Hot sand, the cool sea. So let's have a go. You could write a haiku about the seasons or about an animal or plant. The choice is yours. But remember, each poem has only three lines. The syllable pattern of the poem should be five, seven, then five again. Haiku are often written about seasons and nature. So your task for today is to write your own haiku poem, remembering those three things that we have learnt. Once you've written it, we'll have a go at writing another one, maybe about something else. And don't forget to upload your haiku poems to our class Padlet page. Good luck, Year 5. Can't wait to read them. Bye.